And so, again, saints, I want to share with you that God is saying in verse 20, those who hear the word, receive it, accept it, and bear fruit 30, 60, and some 100. That God is accelerating in us, more of us, less of him. No more self-trust. No more shame. No more disappointments. Our God is alive, and he lives forevermore, saints. And he's still on the throne. And he's still fulfilling the word of God in our lives because he talked about it. He said, the word that I've, the work that I have begun in you, he says, I'm going to finish it. Amen. Mark 11, 24 says, therefore, I say to you, whatever you ask, whatever things you ask. In other words, that word ask means to desire. When you pray, we got to do something, saints. God requires us to do something. Amen. When you pray, and it goes on to say, believe that you receive, then you will have them. So, so God is saying, when you pray, then you'll start believing. Amen. And when you start believing, then you're going to start receiving. Amen. So first, we got to ask God the desires of our heart. What is the desire that you have? Whatever the desires you have, you come to God and say, God, I have this desire. Because says, I know already by the Spirit of God, no good thing goes in your heart to desire something unless God puts it in there. And if God puts it in there, he wants you to call those things that be not as though they were. I don't care what it may seem. If you are truly seeking the face of God and you want the, the best of the things of God in your life, he will put something in there for you to ask. Once you ask, that's your point of contact. He goes, then start believing me. And once you believe me, then you're going to receive it. Because it goes on to say, so how do you learn to receive? Learn to ask. Ask. 